there's a man named Randolph Lynn. He's actually an Indiana man, but he, he goes to Toledo, Ohio, uh, drunk and wanting to set a mosque on fire. Now, obviously, this is incredibly serious. A lot of people could have gotten hurt. Luckily, they caught him. Uh, his dumbass was all over a videotape, face clear as day. So they got him. He got sentenced to 20 years. It was a very serious crime, serious consequences. So that's uh, uh, refreshing to hear. Now, first, let's give you a local report on uh, some of the details here. Len said he was upset that Muslims were killing Americans and trying to blow stuff up that most Muslims are terrorists and that they don't believe in Jesus Christ. He also astonished the courtroom by admitting that in the six hour period before he left his Indiana home for Perrysburg, he drank 45 beers. I was more sad when uh, the judge Zuhairi asked him that do you know any Muslims or do you know what Islam is? And he uh, said no. I only know what Fox News, what I hear on Fox News and what I hear on radio. She's not exaggerating. I have the exact quote. <laughs> I don't know what's more amazing than 45 years and six hours or his defense claims. He's not remorseful. And, they, and the guy, first of all, he says uh, Muslims don't believe in Jesus Christ. Wrong again, Bob. They actually do. Uh, is, Quran is the third book, Old Testament, New Testament, and the Quran. If you believe Islam, that is, it's the third book, and they believe Jesus Christ is a holy prophet. Okay, so obviously this guy doesn't know what he's talking about. So, but then they ask him, don't you know any Muslims? Don't you know anything about Islam? And he says literally, quote, no, I only know what I hear on Fox News. Oh, that's perfect. And by the way, he's not the only one. There was a woman named Patricia Gaddy who threatened, threatened to fire all of her black employees before the election if they voted for President Obama. In fact, she put on their, uh, on their cards KKK on their time cards. She's the boss. Okay. When they asked her, uh, why did you do that? She said, quote, I think I got crazy with Fox News watching too much Fox News. Man, they're literally driving them crazy. And now this guy's got a 20 year jail sentence because of it. And thank God nobody got hurt. By the way, you know, this is not the only time this happened. Uh, Byron Williams was a guy who went to go. Uh, shoot everybody at the Tides Foundation. Tides Foundation is a nonprofit charity that does some progressive work. What, what in the world was he going to shoot them for? Because Glenn Beck had told him, oh, that's part of a secret conspiracy. That's going to take over our government, etc. Luckily, the cops uh, actually wound up stopping him before he got to the Tides Foundation. Unluckily, he wound up in a giant shootout with, uh, with cops uh, on the side of the road. Again, nobody got hurt. That was a minor miracle nobody got hurt. In fact, the only reason he survived was because he had a bulletproof vest. He's in jail now. He did a jailhouse interview saying, yeah, Glenn Beck's my hero, and that's why I did it. And he's not the only one who said that. There's another guy who's in jail. Kenneth Kimley, who's 58, uh, discussed uh, bombing local bridges and uh, hurting President Obama. They uh, seized him with 20,000 ammunition rounds and several firearms. And he's also in prison. And why did he do it? He said, well, my idol is Glenn Beck. Man, all that is foxed up.